from hamburgers to pizza. Kids have a lunch every day at school. But while out on break, getting a good meal can be hard to find. The faith community is working together to ensure our students get healthy food over the summer. Working for you, our Aaron Lish has the story on how they're keeping them fed and how you can help or get help. This sign outside St. Paul AME Church says it all. Come on by and get a meal. Local pastors team up and are providing hot lunches for any and all kids. They're wholesome meals. And there is a need for healthy meals during the summer. Data from No Kid Hungry in Indiana shows only 14% of kids who have free or reduced lunches at school are getting summer meals. To help out, the church is serving about 250 kids a day. We want more to come. There's never not enough. The menu changes every day. Broccoli, chicken, and corn. And the kids are loving it. The favorite thing that I eat is corn. It's also taking off financial pressure. It feels good because I don't have to pay for it anything. Reducing the stress on families. Wow, I didn't know about it till I got a phone call. So I came to take advantage of it so I wouldn't have to fix lunch. I think it's a great idea. 23% of Hoosier students struggle with hunger, and the church hopes to change that. I think my greatest gift from this is when the children come back and say, can I have seconds? Mm. And I say, you can have thirds if you want. These kids are appreciating the work of the volunteers. I will say good work, ladies. And grateful for this meal with every bite. I'm thankful for the food. Along with the lunches here, you can text food to 877-877 to find the closest free meal so your student can enjoy their summer with a full stomach. Aaron Lish, RTV6. Aaron, thanks for sharing that story. And St. Paul AME Church is also asking for backpack donations so they can give out bags to each student that comes for lunch. We have a link on where to find free meals for kids and info on how you can help this summer through this story on the RTV6 app and on the IndyChannel.com.